Hey, what's up guys? It's your favorite not banned Minecraft YouTuber here. And um, I'm gonna make a video on that later. Don't worry about it. Today, we have SV Max Unlag now defaults to 200 milliseconds. So basically, you can't troll the shit out of people anymore in matchmaking by backtracking them back to Mexico. Now, this is really shit. It, it's like shit in the sense of, how should I say, it, it doesn't work anymore, you know, you, it's, it's useless at this point. The back check window is very small, it's not fun, especially when you have a high ping, or if you're a legit player, it's also going to be horrible for you. I'm going to show you in a second, as you can see here, I have already Unity up, and it's 4 o'clock in the morning, I gotta go to work in an hour, so I'm going to make this fast. Um... So basically what that means is here I have, I have this in Unity already. I coded this very quick. It's, it's nothing special, don't worry about it. Um, so let me show you this here real quick. I'm going to explain what you see in a second. So what what's going to happen on the server is, if you watch my previous videos, this here is zero milliseconds on the server side, okay? So the server sees this position as current. This is what the server is always seeing, right? When you have a ping of 40, 45, whatever, then the server still sees the player here, but he's going to backtrack him for you to 45 milliseconds, right? Because you always have a latency, and that's all fine, right? And then he puts him back there. So your backtrack window, when you were normally backtracking, is, or when you're backtracking, basically, is now the blue line here. Okay, so this is all you can backtrack. You cannot go further than that. If you go beyond that, I'm going to show that later. Now, what that means is that you lose 45 milliseconds of worth of backtrack, right? You miss all this in the front. The guy here is moving to the left. Okay. Um, so you're already missing that. Your backtrack window is already closing down. Now, if, if you were to have a 100 milliseconds ping, you know, like that, you have a super small backtrack window, right? It's horrible. Horrible. You can't hit him at all anymore because you suck at this game. Um, by the way, this guy here is what you see on your screen. This is the server. This is what you see. This is the maximum possible at the moment. So you see him here while he's actually already here on the server. But you see him there because of your latency. Um so that's all fine right but the next problem is gonna be if you have a really high ping you know if you play on Japanese servers from Europe right you will be here right you, you shoot him he's never gonna get hit because <laughs> game is shit now now what you have to do is you have to aim here even though he's, he's here right if you have a 300 ping you have to aim at this spot so you have to manually if you're playing legit, you have to manually predict where he might where he might have gone a hundred milliseconds ago. So this is probably very inconsistent, you know, especially if your pink jitters a little bit and so on and so forth. Then it's gonna be, you know, like that. <laughs> it's gonna be all over the place, and you're trying to predict him and hit him at the same time. Um, so that's you know all fine and good. Now. What can we do against that coding wise? Now, I've done it in the past. You can just forward track, right? Assuming you have 50 ping, you have this nice little window here. You know, it's nice. And then you just forward track your ping. So, what you basically do is you predict where he's gonna go. It's just a couple of ticks right here, right? I mean, if we go to the calculator, right? One tick is what? One point. Hold on a second. It's like a thousand divided by 64 so that's the every time an every time a tick happens right so uh, we take that value let's see 50 divided by that so we have about three ticks here in the front um, that's gonna happen so we have the three ticks there's not a lot gonna happen in three ticks you know he might be you know trolling the shit out of you and so on and so forth but in the end you're gonna shoot yourself um, so you have three ticks, 
that you can predict forward and boom you have your 200 milliseconds window again the orange here is the forward tracking by the way <coughs> so you have your 200 right and the good thing is even if you have a huge ping not because your ping spiking that's useless now but if you have a high ping because you're playing with your friends in Zimbabwe with me you're gonna be like here right you're gonna see them here you can still predict this whole window because if you have an action if that's your actual ping your actual latency to the server then that means if you send the packet right now predicting in the future so assuming um, you shoot at this guy right you predict him to this position then and you send it right now and it would get there instantly what would happen is the servers be like yeah are you retarded dude it's not gonna work I mean it's gonna work because you know you have the 400 uh, millisecond window it would work anyways right you could predict forwards anyways but that's that that was the point of ping spiking um, but uh, but basically the server doesn't have the information if you go past the right so the server is not gonna simulate it for you he's just gonna be like ha you stupid nobody's there you know you know and so so if you have a ping like that and you you send a packet uh, you send a tick count that's here exactly here then it's gonna arrive at the server the moment um, the moment it gets there so it gets there and the server is like oh I just got that information thanks dude and he's instantly dead basically as soon as he's there he's dead so you shoot before the guy is there basically and then I mean <laughs> you know what I mean it's, it sounds stupid but it makes sense if you think about it and so yeah I don't know that's just that's just my thoughts on it and I I was bored you know I couldn't sleep because I don't know I don't need so much sleep and uh, yeah that's just my thoughts I mean you guys gonna you guys are gonna automate that and that's gonna be fucking hitting P right gonna be like here you know you predict 300 milliseconds in the in the future and you're gonna be shooting them around the corner I mean I don't even know how that's gonna look you know, imagine you shoot in mid, you're standing on Xbox, right? You shoot, then you duck, and then the guy dies. I wonder how that looks on the demo. <laughs> I wonder if you shoot through the box. <laughs> or, you know, or around it. Ah, you guys decide. Anyways, as I said, we're going to look at the bands later. Just need to do some stuff to make it perfect. See ya, bitch.